Well, I was going to let it get hot and do an oil change on it hot before I did anything else, but I don't think that's such a good idea, guys. <laughs> that gas leak, I think, is going to have to be the first thing we do before we worry about anything else. Why does it hurt when I pee? Why does it hurt when I pee? Don't want no doctor to stick no needle in me. Why does it hurt when I pee? Alright guys, we're going to start things off today with an unboxing. Should have Johansson parts. And I think we do. Air filter. I've not checked the air filter yet. I'll let you guys do that with me. Spring eye bushings. Should be another one of those. Yep. So we got new bushings for the spring eyes if we got to cut the old ones out. Let's hope we don't. And these should be <coughs> the spring shackles. And they are. So, and then, so we got two of those. And these. This is what actually inspired the order. Brake shoes. I admit I cheated and I already took apart one drum. And the shoes were looking a little thin and they were definitely looking greasy. Everything in there is covered with, uh, with brake uh, fluid. So what I'm going to do today, it's a weeknight, so we need to try and get something done quick. Plus it's cold and rainy and I'm just not into it. But it, all the same, we need to hammer it out. So what I'm going to do is rebuild the drum brakes on one side and I'll probably put the chest harness on and let you guys follow along. And of course the other thing we're going to need today is wheel cylinders or specifically just one wheel cylinder. AC Delco, uh, you know, technically the brand for the truck but who cares. These were cheap on Amazon. Uh, we'll likely put a link in the description if you're interested. I don't expect uh, anything great or terrible out of these. I think they'll be just fine. Yeah, I was going to have a big, long, drawn-out thing about how to remove brake drums the easy way and the hard way and, you know, various tools I have for that, but uh, found out, <laughs> doing things one-handed again, that uh, this drum just straight up plucks right off of there. <laughs> oh. Just... <laughs> right off she comes. <laughs> uh, I didn't touch that at all. <laughs> That's just, uh, I think, how disused these drum brakes are. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I've been in here before. You can see where I kind of dug away at some, you know, old grease or probably brake fluid leaking out of this wheel cylinder um, that was down on this rivet. And I dug all that out of there so I could kind of get an idea of what the remaining tread life was like, or not tread, uh, shoe life was like. And you can see there's not a whole lot there. I, I really deliberated buying the shoes or not, uh, just for the sake of the budget, but eh, for uh, 14 bucks, I think probably 15 with tax, we'll do that. I did already buy a hardware kit, and it looks like that was probably a, a pretty wise investment. <laughs> um, so those are pretty rusty. I think they would probably work again, but yeah, got all new hardware, all new springs, everything else. Um, maybe the other side of the drum will be a little harder to take apart, so uh, you can get to see all those fancy tools and things. I might get them out at some point and just uh, talk about them. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys would want to see like a drum break tutorial or more of an instructional thing, or if you're all pretty comfortable with drum brakes. I know, uh, you know a lot of the younger guys may not have ever really worked on these. A lot of guys are afraid of them because there are springs and stuff in there that they uh, may not understand, but it's really no big deal. So, uh, you know, let me know. I got all kinds of stuff with drum brakes and uh, actually need to go through drum brakes on uh, my other S10 and some other vehicles too. So plenty of opportunities. And just also for good measure, hardware kit. Uh, part number such and such so and so I'll, I'll link it in the description this also came from Amazon basically just coincidentally it's also the further brand of the truck uh, <clears throat> so if you've never seen one of these and uh, some guys don't even know these exist 
you get new caps, you get all these springs, you get new pins and little mounting bushings and stuff. These are like seven or eight bucks when you get both sides. So uh, I, whenever I open drum brakes up for the first time, I always just buy a new kit because it's well worth it. Then I don't have to worry about all this old crusty crap and you know wonder how good these springs still are on or anything. For just a few dollars, it's well worth it. I know, brake clean for actually cleaning brakes? Who would have imagined? Yeah. Oh, if you guys don't have uh, drum brake tools, these are just uh, cheap Harbor Freight tools that I'm using here. I'll drop a link, or if there are any on Amazon that you know look similar, I'll drop a link there. Just, you know, a lot of people have Prime and stuff, but uh, anyway, pretty cool. Just, well, I don't want to get into too much of a tutorial here because I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. Plus, this might make me look like a moron right now. Yep, it's making me look like a moron. Oh, that's why I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I don't know if I did that or not, but that's why you, that right there, that spring was just totally mangled is why you buy hardware kits. And I don't know if that was me or if that was like years of just this ride along, but we'll see. <clears throat> and, hmm. guy I don't actually know if we need to take him off just clean him up feel half an inchish Hmm. Camera just magicked itself off. That's weird. Let's see if this guy will come free. One thing you'll notice I didn't do is disconnect this uh, brake line because it ain't connected anyway. <laughs> Mother Nature did that for us. And let's see if we can just tap, tap, tap a roo. Mm, I think we're going to need a bigger tap, tap, tappy. Let's see if we got enough tool now. There we go. Ooh. Oof. Look at that. <laughs> Gross. That's the... What was left of the old 
brake line fitting. Gross. Through the let's see if the cap's good for the parts bin. Yeah, cap's good. What do you guys think? Well, we got that bleeder open. If we'd have tried, I don't think so. I think these wheel cylinders are smoked anyway. No matter how you paint it. Uh, that's surprising. That one's actually free. That one's free too. These these may have actually worked if you were insane enough to think that we could have cracked that bleeder open. <laughs> anyway, trash can Batman. Let's uh, take a quick look. Make sure everything seems cromulent here. Something you always want to do when you get new stuff is kind of eyeball it and see if it's looking the same as the old. Indeed it is. I don't see anything real out of whack. Looks like it should bolt right up. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, probably take a wire wheel on the die grinder to these faces where the uh, shoes ride and clean up this pin a little bit too. Uh, and really all that's left then is grease up some stuff, throw the cylinder in it, and start putting her back together.
All right, you guys saw me <clears throat> blow this away with reckless abandon, and uh, that's for two reasons. One, I'm doing this on video, <laughs> so if I need to review footage, see which spring goes where, which myth thing, you know, that's no problem. Um, a lot of times in the past, I've taken just a bunch of still pictures of these before I ever tore anything apart, and that's a good idea too. Um, if you know, if you don't do these every day, you know, you, you're going to forget. And every car is just a little bit different, even though all drum brakes are about the same. Plus, I knew I had the secret weapon, the Shelton book. <laughs> uh, you know, I, some people like uh, Haynes. I, I prefer Shelton. But yeah, there's just an absolutely awesome picture in here that kind of gives you the roadmap of where everything goes and what it does. And of course, there are the instructions. The instructions are pretty well good without at this point. But, you know, which way did this spring face? kind of stuff uh, these are great to have you know oh yeah don't forget to put that spring in you know these are awesome for that kind of thing <laughs> so don't be afraid to get a good book for your car uh, this one has served me quite well because I have had uh, this is now S10 number four I think I bought this book used on eBay for like eight dollars or something 15 years ago <laughs> so in fact uh, I kind of feel bad for touching that page with these grubby gloves on because I just messed it up but Anyway, and, and this truck even has the ugly grill in it like mine. So, <laughs> anyway, we'll get back to it. Mm. Almost forgot I need to start greasing things before I get real carried away. That would be bad to forget. Speaking of greasing things, <clears throat> um, you don't want to over-grease <laughs> your brakes. Um... I think what's actually going on with uh, the old hardware here, I'm, I'm not really sure. The more I look at them, I can't tell because that wheel cylinder w really wasn't leaking. But uh, <clears throat> there's way too much paint left in these backing plates. I hope you can, you know, see, especially where I was sanding on them, that this is, you know, still nice and black. You know, all this stuff is nice and black. That's all factory paint on the backing plates. There's way too much paint in here. For those to have been leaking i think what happened is uh <clears throat> this thing was a a victim of an even worse amateur brake job than the one i'm giving it <clears throat> um <laughs> and i think it's hard to tell which side i dug the crap out of i was digging crap out of the front rivet i know that when i showed them to you before but i think what actually happened here is somebody just greased the crap out of everything and interestingly enough didn't grease where they probably needed to I, th I think all that stuff is actually grease and not um, brake fluid mixed with garbage. I think it's I think somebody just did a poor job here. When you're putting on new shoes, I know I said I wouldn't do a how-to just right now, but this is just a quickie. <clears throat> um, when you're putting on new shoes, all you really need to grease is uh, and this is an old the old one one of the old ones. Um, all you really need to grease are these. Let me hang the light <clears throat> so I can get my display back. All you need to really grease are these positions on the shoes. Those are the contact points. That's why those little rivet, you know, the little stamps are there. Is that's where the the shoe actually rides in the backing plate. So it's like right here, um, you know, at the pivot. You know, there's there's the pivot. So just up here, there's a pad, and you can actually see the pads. They're, they're kind of squared off. And then there's another one down here at the bottom. Um, so all you really need to do is just take a little bit, bit of grease and go whoop, 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 and you're done. You don't need to <laughs> pack them full. You don't need to do anything crazy. <coughs> um, I probably am, a, am guilty of over-greasing my brakes, but, you know, not like I suspect the old ones were. And of course, you want to grease all your pivots, you know. But again, you know, I've, uh, I'm going to try and try and burn these old guys up I found laying around uh, when I you know reorganized the garage when I moved and found that I have three things of you know brake grease <laughs> uh, normally what I would do is use the bottle here it comes with the brush and you just touch it off touch it off and that's it just a little little smear and I'm also not a guy that really thinks it's uh, super duper important what you use on drum brakes um, I probably avoid axle grease, but white lithium grease, anti-seize, anything you want for these. Um, the only thing you, that is probably sensitive at all, and I kind of doubt that, is the rubber seals on the uh, master or slave cylinders, wheel cylinders. Um, 
but they're compatible with brake grease, so they're probably or with brake fluids, so they're probably compatible with about everything on Earth. So uh, <clears throat> you know, don't get too wrapped up in buying whatever. You know, I just always have caliper grease around, so that's what I use. It's cheaper than uh, NICs and everything else. So anyway, there's my 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 thoughts on that. Go ahead and get them lubrified. <clears throat> Yeah, just a little, kind of a droppy. Maybe just a little bit more. It's kind of a thin coat the first time. I have actually seen people do drum brakes where they don't grease anything. <coughs> or I'm sorry, they don't grease the uh, shoes at all. A lot of people don't seem to realize that these are, you know, actually friction surfaces or pad surfaces. We want to put a little bit on that guy too, because there's a, a not not a pin, but a uh, like a bushing that rides up against that. So not a lot, just a little bit. Maybe just a touch more there. Yeah, and it's also important that you don't put too much in here because brake dust and road debris and stuff like that is going to mix with this stuff and turn it from grease into sludge like the stuff on the old shoes. So, you know, just enough is is kind of the rule here. <clears throat> I would actually really like to be using the brush to do this because <laughs> I'm more comfortable with it. But uh, I do want to get rid of this old stuff too and get it out of my way. I'm sure you've noticed by now I'm a little scatterbrained. So, of course, I have, you know, three or four things of this crap because I put it somewhere and don't think I have any and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Undetermined right now if I'll let this Rambletron babbling go into the video. Uh, currently, zero people are watching the channel, so I guess I can do whatever I want and not offend anybody. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, yeah, if you actually are watching this and you've made it this far, let me know. Is the issue that the... The videos are too long. You know, you don't like a half hour video. You want more like a five minute thing. So, you know, I've been making videos the way I like videos. So, you know, I like to be able to sit down and have a meal and, you know, watch somebody do something. And, you know, a five minute video just sort of annoys me. But maybe it's uh, more than enough for you. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I feel at this point I probably am just rambling. So I'll just get back to it. Okay, speaking of greasing, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is I did not disassemble this. And, you know, really, if you're doing this on your car, you probably should. I didn't disassemble this and grease this up because my assumption is that these parking brake cables are seized anyway. And this being an automatic, I'm never going to use the parking brake, which is also probably why the cables are seized. What I'm looking for this to be is an actual emergency brake if I ever need it. Uh, some people get real twisted up about calling you know, your handbrake or park brake or whatever, an emergency brake. But on a drum brake rear end like this, they actually are. Um, so when you pull that cable, you are actually activating the service brakes for the rear. Uh, you know, it's obviously not as good as having all four going. You're just getting the rear brakes. But uh, they'll stop you. I've driven, uh, had to drive a couple home before just on the e-brake the e before just to limp them home. And, you know, works just fine. On a lot of rear disc stuff, what they actually have in the back is a much smaller parking brake inside that disc. And those are not emergency brakes. Those really are just parking brakes. Uh, they're just too small to be effective. But on good old school here, uh, yeah, that is actually an e-brake. So if I ever actually need it and the brakes blow up, I'm looking for one-time use just to save me from dying. Just stomp on that pedal and this will actuate. And if it doesn't release, eh, so what? It doesn't release. So I'm, I'm really thinking that uh, taking this apart, it's kind of just a waste of my time because the cables are probably jacked anyway, <laughs> but we'll find out, I guess. I'm going to grab some fresh gloves so I'm not handling the clean stuff with greasy 
hands and we'll get back to her. All right, so man, I really hate to walk away in the middle of something like drum breaks and losing my pieces and all that crap, but I'm pretty confident about what I'm doing. I've done a fair bit of drum breaks, even if you know maybe you disagree with what I'm doing or think I'm an idiot. You know, you're not wrong about the latter. <coughs> um, so I think the goal here is just to get the shoes on it, and then I'm going to quit for tonight. It's uh, it's probably getting close to 7 o'clock, and for me that means it's time to get a shower and get some dinner and all that kind of stuff. The you know, job has to has to come first. You know, we gotta got to be able to buy blazer parts or we don't have blazer videos or blazer. So, <laughs> so I'm going to try and get the shoes bang back on it, and I think we're going to call it a night.